Today we are at Mount Juliet Memorial Gardens in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Mount Juliet is located about 20 miles from Nashville. We are in the uh, Garden of Devotion section of the cemetery looking for the grave of a country music legend that was a singer, musician, songwriter, would make uh, appearances on TV and even be in the movies. We are looking for the grave of Charles Edward Daniels better known as Charlie Daniels. Charlie Daniels was very versatile in his music. He not only played country music, he was also known to play the blues, bluegrass, gospel, rock and roll, and even some jazz. Charlie Daniels could play a uh, guitar, but in my opinion, he's better known as an awesome fiddle player. Before taking a closer look at Charlie's grave, we'll look around the Daniels family plot. There are five other graves in the plot. The one just below Charlie's grave is that of his mother, LaRue Daniels. Charlie's wife, Hazel's parents, uh, are also buried in the family plot, as well as her brother. The fifth person buried here was a very good friend of Charlie's, and uh, Charlie Daniels was even a pallbearer for his funeral. That is Homer Dean Tomlinson. Now we'll take a closer look at uh, Charlie's grave, starting with the bench that's beside it. The bench has several things that Charlie was known for, but there's no way this bench could have held all the honors and uh, awards that he received. But it does mention that he was uh, in the Musicians Hall of Fame, the Country Music Hall of Fame. He was a member of the Grand Ole Opry. Uh, he was in the North Carolina uh, Music Hall of Fame as he was born in uh, Wilmington, uh, North Carolina. But other things could have been mentioned just as well. But let's uh, take a look now at the actual marker on his grave. As you take a closer look at Charlie's marker, notice the two fiddling bows, one on each side of his marker. A couple of more things about Charlie that may interest you is in 2006, he played in the backup band for Hank Williams Jr. and the opening song for the Monday Night Football Games. He also played in session recordings with Bob Dylan and Ringo Starr, to name a couple. Before closing this video, we will take a look at one of Charlie's uh, band members' grave. It is that of Taz Di Gregorio. Taz played the steel guitar in the band. Taz, along with the other band members, co-wrote with Charlie the hit song, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. And in 1979, they would all receive a Grammy for this. Taz died in a car accident on his way to join the tour bus. Thanks for watching my video, and have a good day.